So it's obvious that if you or I want to live wholeheartedly, we're going to have to find something to be wholehearted about. We're going to have to find something we can get behind 100%. We're going to have to find out what we really like, what we really enjoy. Now, when we were children, we played games, and these games were often inspired by television or movies or parents' stories or something. But through trial and error, we played games and found out what we thought we were good at and what we enjoyed. We could revisit those same things, or we could find new things if we were willing to play games and through trial and error, find out which things delighted us. Likewise, we could learn a musical instrument, either one we already learned 50 years ago and stopped practicing, or a new one. And it won't be easy. It won't be 100% encouraging all the time. It'll be harder than we would like it to be. But if we put in the time, we will get better. And then, sometimes it'll be fun. Sometimes it'll be drudgery, but not very much, especially if we're calling the shots. Now, if we want to discourage ourselves, all we have to do is look at YouTube and find a seven-year-old child who can play that piece better than we could ever hope to play it, and that's guaranteed discouragement. Another way would be to record ourselves and play that recording for friends. It won't be inspiring or encouraging, believe me. But these are... These are things we do to find out who we really are, what our real gifts are, what our real interests are. I used to think I was practicing humility when I would accept a job that I thought was beneath me. But then I found when I did this, I wasn't very good at the job. I was keeping the job from someone who might be good at it. And when I got fired, uh, that was a humiliating experience. But I kept repeating that cycle many times more times than I would care to mention, until finally I just said, no more. I can't do this anymore. No more humiliating experiences with work. And then you get to a place where you have to try something else. And that's what we're talking about. Trying something else so that you can get behind it wholeheartedly and live the rest of your life wholeheartedly. Hang around with people you enjoy really being with. Stop calling up people you don't want to be with. It's easier than we think it is, but we like to make it harder. And there's a word for that in English. It's called obfuscation. It means making a problem harder than it needs to be so it can't be solved. So then you can play the victim or release yourself from responsibility for looking or trying any farther. But it's a lousy way to live. 